using higher highs and higher lows to identify trend changes, a very important skill to have. Hi, my name is David Modell. This is looking at the markets. I'm going to teach you about that and it does not work 100% of the time. So it's just something to look for in your chart trading. And before I get started, let me just tell you that you do want to have a trading plan. You don't want to just depend on one strategy. So if you want help putting together a trading or investing plan, you can email me for coaching at davidmodell at gmail.com. It's on the screen right now. Also, this Tuesday, September 1st, uh, I will be doing a live stream here on YouTube, and you're invited to come and join that. Uh, and that is going to be at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time or 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time. All right. Uh, and again, that's uh, this Tuesday, September 1st, uh, 7 o'clock. I'm sorry, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time or 5 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Uh, and I will have a special guest for a live stream. Come check it out. So let's get into the lesson here. All right, so hopefully you've seen my videos before where I've taught you about identifying uh, lower highs, higher highs, all that good stuff, okay? Uh, and that can help you to identify a possible, no guarantees, this does not work 100% of the time, all right? It's not perfect, but uh, it's pretty good in many cases for identifying trend changes, a time to possibly take a position. So uh, if you've got a stock or commodity, whatever it is, cryptocurrency that's going down, you know, these things generally don't go straight down or straight up, do they? It's oftentimes like a, a staircase, okay? Uh, and I'll show you a couple of real life examples very soon. Uh, but you might have something going down and then it goes up a little bit and that's a high okay so you got a swing low and then a swing high but not a very high swing high okay it's a lower high it doesn't go up as much as it did last time and so that's a lower high and it goes down and it's a lower low that's a swing low that's lower than the previous one okay and so that is often interpreted as bearish and so you might want to stay out of the way and not take a long position just yet and then it starts to go up and maybe you're thinking this is good this is bullish but the swing high is not very high again, not as high as the last swing high, and so that's a lower high. And then it goes down below this low for another lower low. Boy, this is bearish, right? You're still staying out of the way until, until when? Until there's a turning point. How do you know it's a turning point? When it prints not another lower high, like the last two, but it goes above that previous lower high. It goes above it, and it prints a higher high. Ah, that's not a terrible time to get in. Uh, you know, again, you don't just look at this. You want to have a trading or investing plan. You want to look at other factors because this is not perfect by itself. But it could be something that could indicate a turning point. Okay, it's something to look for. And then, yeah, it goes down. Okay, let's say you, you know, it printed a higher high. It went above that last high. And so you get in. And then it goes down, but that could be a head fake, okay? You don't necessarily want to just get scared and sell for a loss here. You Maybe, maybe you want to stay in the trade, okay? Because you've got another low, because things, again, don't go straight up. They don't go straight up typically, okay? And so maybe you got in here, and maybe it did another head fake, but maybe that's a higher low, okay? Maybe it's a higher low than the last low. That's encouraging because what if it starts to go up and now it prints a higher high and now you are in the green on your trade, hopefully, right? So that is a possible turning point, okay? Could go the other way as well. You know, you've got a bullish price action. It printed a higher high and then it went down but not as low as last time, so it's a higher low. And then another higher high higher than the last swing high, right? Higher than the previous one, okay? So that's still bullish, okay? And then it goes down, sure, because it's not gonna necessarily go up in a straight line, uh, but it prints another higher low, okay? The swing low is not as low as the previous one. Then it goes up here, okay? Now it goes down, which is normal, but look how far it goes down. So it's a lower low, because that swing low is lower than the previous one, right? Okay, uh-oh, that could be a sign of a turning point. All right, it's not printing another higher low. So, you know, some people would go short here. That's, you know, it's a dangerous game to play. It's not for everybody. It's risky. Or at the very least, some people would sell their long position. If you had a long position, if you had bought something down here and it went down here, you might sell it. 
for a profit, hopefully, especially if you bought down here, okay? And then it goes up and you're thinking, oh, you know, maybe it's bullish again. But if your thesis that this was a turning point is correct, then maybe it prints a, yes, another high, but a lower than lower one than the last time. That was just a head fake. And now it's going back down, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low again, all right? And so your thesis that it was a turning point could turn out be, to be correct, possibly, okay? Uh, so let's take a you know another look at that. All right, can you see again where it is? You know, lower highs, lower lows, but then lower high, but a sign of trend weakness because you have a higher low. That's your signal a lot of the time. Okay, maybe it's time to get in. All right, depending on all the other things you're looking at as well, other signals, other indicators. All right, sign of trend weakness. That downtrend is starting to get weak because you don't have another lower low, you have a higher low here. And so you might get in and that could be that could be very profitable in many cases, okay? And here's the opposite, okay? So you got the bullish trend, higher lows, higher highs, and then goes down and you're expecting another higher high. Uh, but you know what? You don't get it, all right? Yeah, you got the higher low, but it's it's a the next high is a weak one, okay? And so that could be a sign of trend weakness as far as that bullish trend is concerned. That might be a time to sell whatever you have here or even go short possibly, but that's very risky. So be careful with that, okay? And then it could possibly work out if your thesis is correct. It starts printing lower highs and lower lows, hopefully. All right, that's the idea. All right, so I promised some real life examples. Can you see what's going on here in this uh, Johnson & Johnson daily candlestick chart? Well, hopefully you see that, yeah, yeah and, and notice that real life examples are sloppier. You know, they don't always look as perfect as this, right? Okay, compare this to the real life example. So you have to have good eyes with this one, all right? And so, uh, yeah, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, right? You see it? Okay, and then down here, that's a bearish trend, but then it prints not another lower high. Uh-oh, prints a higher high, way higher. That could be a time to get in. In fact, you didn't even have to wait until it's all the way up here, all right? As soon as you saw that, you know, you, you predicted maybe it was just gonna go here and then keep going down for another lower high. But as soon as it went up above that last high, that last swing high, as soon as it went above it, especially with that big old green candle there, that could have been your, your sign, your signal that, oh, it's not gonna be another lower high, right? It's already a higher high as soon as it went above that last swing high. All right, and you could have gotten in, and it goes a little higher, then it goes down. But again, stocks don't go straight up, you know. If you had gotten in here, yeah, okay, down, but then another higher high after that, and you'd be firmly in the green with that one. You'd have a pretty good profit already, and maybe you could keep hanging on with the idea that hopefully, maybe it's going to keep doing higher highs and higher lows after that. You want another example? Here's the opposite, okay? This is J N U G, J N U G which is uh, the junior gold miners, okay? Uh, and it is leveraged, so please be careful with leveraged ETFs and ETNs and things like that, all right? But uh, JNUG, as you can see, all right, and this is more of a line chart, but you can see it here as well, okay? You know, you got your higher highs, higher lows here, sloppier than, you know, sloppier than real life, right? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, real life is sloppier than the, uh, you know, the textbook example, right, okay? It's a little sloppier, but you have to be able to see the patterns. Higher highs, higher lows, okay? And then here it is, starting to look a little shaky though. Uh-oh, all right. Can you see how you got a higher high than the last one? I'm sorry, a higher low, and then a higher high, okay? And it went down, and you were hoping it would only stop around here maybe, but look how far down it went. Uh-oh, uh-oh, trend weakness. And then to confirm it, uh-oh, look at that. Look at that, lower high. That really, that really was the, the sign there, okay? That's the sign of trend weakness, right? Okay, let, let me try to show the example, okay? Boom, and then lower low, look at that, okay? Not quite, not quite a lower low, so it's not textbook, okay? It didn't go below that that previous uh, that previous low but it went down kind of low 
it was kind of concerning, kind of worrisome. So now you're thinking, uh-oh, is it going to print a lower high compared to the last one? Let's see what that looks like in the textbook example here, right? And then what does it look like in real life? There it is, lower high. Uh-oh. You might think time to sell if I had bought down here. Maybe time to go short, maybe, if you can tolerate the risk. And then look at that. Lower lows, lower highs. Wow, yeah. And then it went sideways after that, uh, with a head and shoulders, by the way. So it might go down after that, but certainly went down, okay? So those are a couple of real life examples that are happening right now, by the way, okay? So things to think about, things to look out for, all right? Uh, so I definitely hope this was helpful to you. You have to get your eyes and your brain trained to be able to see these things because they're not like the textbook, all right? And they don't work perfectly. Uh, so once again, live stream uh, this Tuesday, the 1st of September at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time. Uh, with a special guest and uh, if you would like coaching so you can have an overall plan for your trading or investing or if you'd like some help with that you can contact me by email at davidmodell at gmail.com i want to thank you for watching and for listening and hey i will talk to you again soon